You may know about Rutgers' 6-4 win over Princeton University in the first ever college football game in 1869. What you may not know is that Rutgers' first victory over Princeton actually took place five years earlier. In 1864, Rutgers professors George H. Cook and David Murray met with the trustees to establish Rutgers Scientific School. At that time, America was embroiled in the Civil War. Roads, buildings, even entire cities were destroyed. The country was also in the midst of the Industrial Revolution. Instead of hand production in the home, manufacturing was shifting to machines and factories. The addition of a science school at Rutgers would provide the research and education necessary to help rebuild the nation and keep it technologically competitive with the rest of the world. To fund this endeavor, Cook and Murray proposed that Rutgers petition for land grant designation under the Federal Morrill Act. In 1857, Justin Morrill, a United States representative from Vermont, originally proposed the act. President Abraham Lincoln signed the Morrill Act into law in 1862. The act granted each state 30,000 acres of public land to be sold. Profits from the sale would then be awarded to one college in that state to promote agricultural and mechanical arts education. The Morrill Act transformed college education in America, laying the groundwork for the nation's great public research universities. Representatives from three New Jersey colleges met before a state legislative committee to determine which school would receive the grant. Rutgers was represented by the school's president, William Campbell, Professor Cook, and lawyer Peter Broom. Together, they vigorously campaigned for Rutgers, arguing that New Brunswick offered students real-world agricultural and industrial experience. Their reasoning won the day, and Rutgers was designated the state's land-grant college. In its defeat, Princeton was, shall we say, gracious, commenting, it is left for that college, unaided by the state, which thus ignores her firstborn and most illustrious child to go on in her work. This, with no unkind wishes for her younger and more favored sister, she will do. As New Jersey's land-grant college, Rutgers proceeded with the establishment of Rutgers Scientific School in the fall of 1865. 100 acres in New Brunswick were purchased for the school's experimental farm. In 1880, an act of the state legislature established New Jersey Agricultural Experiment Station to bring research and education from Rutgers Scientific School into the community. The station's Cooperative Extension Division for Instructive Outreach was founded by the passage of the Smith-Lever Act in 1914. That same year, the engineering department of Rutgers Scientific School emerged as the College of Engineering to incorporate growing fields of study. The college became the School of Engineering in 1999. In 1921, the agricultural department of Rutgers Scientific School was reorganized into the College of Agriculture and has since evolved into the Rutgers School of Environmental and Biological Sciences, an internationally recognized institution for animal science biochemistry, microbiology, entomology, food science, landscape architecture, marine and coastal sciences, and nutrition. The effects of Rutgers' defeat of Princeton University and being awarded land-grant status reach far into the present day. Thanks to the efforts of Cook, Murray, Room, and Campbell, Rutgers University has used its land-grant designation to advance the well-being of the people of New Jersey and the world.